Good morning and a warm welcome to this live stream service of Easter Communion from the Deanery Chapel here in my home. I'm the Dean of Lincoln and by the marvel of technology I'm joined this morning by members of the Lincoln Cathedral Choir but also the Sub-Dean Canon John Patrick, all from their own homes, sharing with you as we gather as Christians will be throughout the world today to worship and celebrate the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. And there's a particular moment in our worship this morning when the joy of the resurrection is signaled by making a jubilant noise, ringing bells. So we hear the organ sound and sing the glory together for the first time since Lent. So please be ready to join in and have your bell at the ready. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and also with you. Alleluia, Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. Brothers and sisters in Christ, we meet together this morning at the end of our journey with Christ through Holy Week to celebrate the glorious resurrection of Jesus. We come to celebrate the hope and possibility that he brings us in his risen life as he calls us out of darkness into his marvellous light. Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed for us. Let us therefore rejoice by putting away all malice and evil and confessing our sins with a sincere and true heart. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with the living bread. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May the God of love and power forgive you and free you from your sins 
heal and strengthen you by his spirit and raise you to new life in Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And whilst I don't have the big Easter Paschal candle this morning, a gift from a friend has been this painted Easter candle, and I'm going to light it to remind us of the light of Christ banishing darkness. And I say the words, may the light of Christ rising in glory banish all darkness from our hearts and minds. from Colossians 3 verses 1 to 4. So if you have been raised with Christ, seek the things that are above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Set your minds on things that are above, not on things that are on earth, for you have died and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ, who is your life, is revealed, then you will also be revealed with him in glory. 
This is the word of the Lord. Lord be with you. Hear the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to John. Early on the first day of the week, while it was still dark, Mary Magdalene came to the tomb and saw that the stone had been removed from the tomb. So she ran and went to Simon Peter and the other disciple, the one whom Jesus loved, and said to them, They have taken the Lord out of the tomb, and we do not know where they have laid him. Then Peter and the other disciples set out and went towards the tomb. The two were running together, but the other disciple outran Peter and reached the tomb first. He bent down to look in and saw the linen wrappings lying there, but he did not go in. 
Then Simon Peter came following him and went into the tomb. He saw the linen wrappings lying there and the cloth that had been on Jesus' head, not lying with the linen wrappings, but rolled up in a place by itself. Then the other disciple who reached the tomb first also went in and he saw and believed. For as yet they did not understand the scripture that he must rise from the dead. Then the disciples returned to their homes. But Mary stood weeping outside the tomb. As she went she bent over to look into the tomb and she saw two angels in white sitting where the body of Jesus had been lying one at the head and the other at the feet. They said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? She said to them, They have taken away my Lord, and I do not know where they have laid him. When she had said this, she turned round and saw Jesus standing there, but she did not know that it was Jesus. Jesus said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? For whom are you looking? Supposing him to be the gardener, she said to him, Sir, if you have carried him away, tell me where you have laid him, and I will take him away. Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned and said to him in Hebrew, Rabboni, which means teacher. Jesus said to her, Do not hold on to me, because I have not yet ascended to the Father. But I go to my brothers, but go to my brothers and say to them, I ascending to my Father and to your Father, to my God and your God. Mary Legden went and announced to the disciples, I have seen the Lord. And she told them that he had said these things, to her. This is the Gospel of the Lord. May I speak in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Easter is about the triumph of love, through loving sacrifice offered up for the sake of us all, for the common and greater good. It's about light overcoming darkness, goodness winning over evil. Christians declare the hope and love and light we find through faith in the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. For no matter how dark or despairing life is, we believe that love and light will win the day. Ultimately, weeping and sorrow will come to an end and life will be renewed transformed by hope and goodness, and new beginnings made possible. New life is seen all around us at the moment, in the declaration of nature, bursting back into life after the barrenness of winter. Bird song and blossom, bumblebees and sunshine. And we see the power of love all around us, in the sacrificial work of all our carers and frontline staff seeking to protect us from this current situation of sickness and of loss. We see it in the kindness of neighbours and the coming together of communities, people dancing together at a social distance in their streets and coming to the doorstep to show gratitude and respect on Thursday evenings. Indeed, our own obedience to lockdown by staying out of our churches on the most important weekend of the Christian year is a demonstration of love for the vulnerable and most at risk. It's a commitment to the safety and well-being of others. Jesus came to be in the midst of us, showing us how to live and love one another, experiencing what it is to be human, sharing in the messiness of life, as well as the wonder and beauty of what it is to be alive. He calls us to follow him, to enact hope and faith and love, to be the light bearers, 
reaching out sacrificially with generosity and compassion. So many life-affirming gestures of love are happening daily at the moment as people are reaching out with care and concern towards the wider community. This Easter season, as we celebrate the joy of the resurrection, may we all encounter and recognise the risen Lord in one another and do our bit to bring about resurrection moments in our world. In our own actions and words, let us declare our belief in resurrection hope, in the power of love and the triumph of light over darkness. And may all the blessings and joy of Easter be with you. Alleluia. Brothers and sisters, let us declare our faith in the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. Christ has died for our sins, in accordance with the scriptures. He was buried, he was raised to life on the third day, in accordance with the scriptures. Afterwards, he appeared to his followers, and to all the apostles. This we have received, and this we believe. Amen. In our prayers today, this Easter day, the response to we pray to the Father is hear our prayer. We pray to the Father, hear our prayer. In joy and hope, let us pray to the Father that our risen Saviour may fill us with the joy of his glorious and life-giving resurrection, we pray to the Father, hear our prayer, that the isolated and fearful may find strength in the good news of Easter, we pray to the Father, hear our prayer, that God may grant wisdom and compassion to those who lead our united kingdom and the nations of the world. Be present with our Prime Minister and for all those who hold authority and grant us humility to be subject to one another in Christian love. We pray to the Father, hear our prayer. That he may provide for those who lack food, work or shelter. Let us pray to the Father, hear our prayer, that he may strengthen doctors, nurses, health workers and those involved in medical research. Let us pray to the Father, hear our prayer, that he may reveal the light of his presence to the sick, the weak and the dying, to comfort and strengthen them. Let us pray to the Father, hear our prayer, that according to his promises, all who have died in the faith of the resurrection may rejoice in eternal life. Let us pray to the Father, hear our prayer, that he may send forth the fruit of the Holy Spirit upon his people so that we may bear faithful witness to his resurrection. Let us pray to the Father, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, you have delivered us from the power of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of your Son. Grant that, as his death has recalled us to life, so his continual presence in us may raise us to eternal joy, through Jesus Christ, our risen Lord and Saviour. Amen. The risen Christ came and stood among his disciples and said, Peace be with you. Then they were glad when they saw the Lord. 
Alleluia. The peace of the risen Christ be always with you. Alleluia. And also with you. Alleluia. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to set before you, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to set before you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us the cup of salvation. Blessed be God forever. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. It is indeed right, our duty and our joy, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Almighty and Eternal Father. And in these days of Easter, to celebrate with joyful hearts the memory of your wonderful works. For by the mystery of his passion, Jesus Christ, your risen Son, has conquered the powers of death and hell, and restored men and women to the image of your glory. He has placed them once more in paradise, and opened to them the gate of eternal life. And so, in the joy of this Passover, earth and heaven resound with gladness while angels and archangels and the powers of all creation sing forever the hymn of your glory. loving Father, through Jesus Christ our Lord, and as we obey his commands, send your Holy Spirit, that broken bread and wine and food may be for us the body and blood of your dear Son. On the night before he died, he had supper with his friends, and taking bread, he praised you. He broke the bread, gave it to them, and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. When supper was ended, he took a cup of wine, 
Again, he praised you, gave it to them and said, drink this, all of you. This is my blood, the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. So, Father, we remember all that Jesus did. In him we plead with confidence his sacrifice made once for all upon the cross. Bringing before you the bread of life and cup of salvation, we proclaim his death and resurrection until he comes in glory. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Lord of all life, help us to work together for that day when your kingdom comes and justice and mercy will be seen in all the earth. Look with favour on your people, gather us in your loving arms, and bring us with all the saints to feast at your table through Christ and with Christ and in Christ, in the unity of the Holy Spirit. All honour and glory are yours, O loving Father, for ever and ever. Amen. As our Saviour has taught us, so we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, because we all share in one bread. Alleluia, Christ, our Passover, is sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast. Alleluia. In a moment, we will hear some music from Paul Williams, the Easter from the five mystical songs. And during this anthem, I invite you to make your spiritual communion, praying that by God's grace, united with all the baptised and with Christ who gave his life for us, you may be filled with his indwelling presence.
wretched sinews, subtle strings, what keys best to celebrate this most high day? Consult both heart and root, consult both heart and root, and to Let us pray. God of our salvation, you have restored us to life. You have brought us back again into your love by the triumphant death and resurrection of Christ. Continue to heal us that we may grow in love for you and for each other. Amen. God the Father, by whose glory Christ was raised from the dead, strengthen you to walk with him in his risen life and the blessing of god almighty the father the son and the holy spirit be upon you and remain with you always amen let us go in peace to love and serve the lord alleluia alleluia in the name of christ alleluia alleluia <laughs>